In this activity, we'll be examining the effect of an aperture on depth of focus and visual acuity. Now to carry out this activity at home, you'll need to construct a small pinhole card. You can just use paper, but if you've got something slightly heavier such as 120 or 200 gram cardstock, then that works even better. To make the pinhole, simply cut out a small square of either your paper or your cardstock. You then want to grab a pin or a sharp probe of some sort. Here I'm using a large sewing needle, but a smaller needle or a protractor point will also do the trick. The important part here is that we want to make a hole in the paper, but we want that hole to be smaller than the diameter of your pupil. In a bright, well-lit room, your pupils are about 3 millimeters in diameter, so you want your hole to be less than that. Now in the video you can see that I'm making two holes in the paper, one with a cold needle and one with a hot needle. You only need to do one hole. I was just testing out different ways of making the holes through the paper, and I found if you heat the needle up first, I was doing it on the stove, but you could use a lighter. I found that that made a nice neat hole with nice clean edges. If you need to, you can also heat your needle up again and poke it back through the same hole and either enlarge the hole or just make it a bit neater. Now to carry out this activity, determine your near point using the same apparatus that you did in activity 1. Then once you've found your near point, interpose the pinhole card and find your new near point. Now what effect did the pinhole have on your near point? And lastly, repeat the Snellen chart activity, this time using the pinhole, and see whether the pinhole affects your visual acuity.